Hello guys, it's Freaking here and welcome back to the channel guys. Today what I do have for you boys is we're going to be reacting to the new 6pm content which of course is the new batch of Icon Swaps 3. Today I'm going to be taking you through each of the options and basically telling you my opinion on what the best, best options really are for um, you guys to spend your tokens essentially. So we're going to go through each of the options and I'm going to be giving my opinion on each, on each of them and telling you what you guys should be going for in regards to how you spend your tokens. So then let's jump right into it then. 81 plus 25 pack for the first token. For this one, I mean, I, one thing I would say on all the packs, you, I would advise going for some packs in this because it's in the middle of the team of the season. Team of the season, you know, these packs are very, very juicy for team of the season players, you know what I mean? So. I would advise doing some of these packs if you're not going to grind the whole way. 81, time, 81 plus times 25, very, very good. 83 plus times 25, very good. And 84 plus times 20. They're all fodder packs and they're all very, very good in terms of stacking your club of fodder for both Team of the Season SBCs, any of the Icon SBCs that come out, and also any, as I say, any, um, you know, you might just hit lucky in some of these packs and get yourself some big Team of the Season players. So, those first three, I definitely advise, you know, if you're not going to grind everything and you're not going for some of the later options, they're definitely three good options to, to start with, you know. For five tokens then, you can get the Icon Moments Pack. Um, very, very good option. I mean, an Icon Moments Pack for only five tokens is very, very affordable. And as I said with these other options, for only five tokens, if you're not planning on grinding loads of this, five tokens, you get yourself a, you know, a cheeky Icon Moments. It's, it's, it's not too bad, is it? So... Yet again, not a bad option. I would say, though, some icon moments are trash, you know, so it is a bit of a, a, um, a scam in a sense because you might just get a, a really poor icon moments, but it's worth a shot, I think, if you're if you're not planning going the whole way. All right, then, moving into the first player SBC with Bastion's Flying Stagger. He is worth six, six tokens. Now, I see this card. You look at his base stats. Very, very good. Um, one thing I would say about the card, I don't see him often, the, very often used in, you know, in your foot champs games and whatever, so... I don't think Svein Stagger, the way he is in the game, I don't think he's amazing in this game. So I'd probably advise staying away from, the, from this card. Don't get drawn in by the stats and the fact that he's an icon moments. Um, I, I would stay away. I would stay away from the Svein Stagger. I don't think he's meta and you don't see him used very often in this game. 92 plus icon moments pack then. Uh, for seven tokens yet again, a very, very, very good option. Um, you think of all the good icon moments. and it's a Remember, it's an attacker or midfielder option. So you think of all the good options you can get from this and uh, all the good players you can get from this, it's not a bad option at all. Uh, if you're only going to grind seven tokens, I think this is a very, very good option. Um, bearing in mind, you know, of all the players you could get. Yes, of course, the pack, it's luck. You know, you might get an L. But overall, I think a 92 plus icon moments pack isn't a bad shot for seven tokens at all. Right then, so we're starting to move into another player SBC. Now, this man here, Heristo Stoichkov, I hope I pronounced that right, um, for, for eight tokens. I mean, I have to say, so far going through these, and this is first reaction, I am pleased with the A to be fair, so far. Um, eight tokens for a Stoichkov um, Prime Icon Moments. I used his Prime last year, he's very, very, very good. Um, so I would say for eight tokens, he's probably one of the, he's, well, he's definitely the best player SBC to go for so far. He's definitely better than Sveinstagger. So if you've got six to eight tokens and you're deciding between Sveinstagger and Stoichkov, 100% go for Stoichkov, because he's definitely a better Icon game than the Sveinstagger. So Stoichkov for eight, not the worst, not the worst choice there. We move on to our 92 plus prime icon player pick. Now this is very interesting. 92 plus prime icon player pick. Now one thing I would say, don't get drawn in by the by the player pick aspect because you can still get three shitters here, you know. So you know, don't get drawn to it. Um, but it is a player pick that automatically, but because you get three players, it does increase your luck of getting someone good. So player picks I always like on FIFA, and I wouldn't necessarily advise you against this one. Um, but I'd say if you're planning on grinding the whole all the tokens, I'd say stay away and uh, moving into more of these type type of um, options here, which we'll get into right now. So we've an icon moments player pick then, and that's worth ten. So just really not much difference from this really. I'd say if you're around ten tokens, um, I'd go with the icon moments player picks simply because these here, the prime icons, there's loads of 92 prime icons that necessarily aren't meta or aren't, don't fit, you know, um, well, don't fit the meta of the game, but also don't fit, you know, certain teams at the stage, so, for an IG plus prime icon player pick, I would say, if you're going between, if you've got 10 tokens, right, 9, 10 tokens, take the icon moments player pick, rather than the prime icon one. Alright, so then moving on to, to George Best, then 11 tokens, I feel for this card, very, very affordable, um, 11 tokens, you're only going to grind out, you know, it's 11 tokens at the end of the day, I would pick this, because at least you're guaranteeing yourself a good icon, over taking your chance at one of these player picks, personally. 
Yes, this player packs give you the chance, but if you just need an out-and-out -out player that you think, right, I'm going to get my value for money here, I think best will do the job for you. I've used his med, he's good, but this prime one will be even better. So I would advise that best, man. If, if you're picking an icon around this, I'd go for best. Um, 92 plus icon moments midfielder player pick. Now this is interesting because you can get a lot of good icon midfielders, icon moments midfielders that do fit end game teams. Um, for 12 tokens, not a bad option again. Um, not a bad option again, but I think if you're around this 11, 12, I would probably pick the best just to guarantee yourself an end game player rather than taking a chance uh, and doing all that grinding for probably an L, let's be honest. Because I know it's a player pick, but there's still moments players and in, in the midfield that you, you could still be an L, you know what I mean? Especially with all the team of season players out at the minute as well. You know, some team of season play, midfield players are just as good as the, some of these icon moments players, you know what I mean? So that's that's what we have to consider as well. We've got a prime Puskas for 14 tokens, which, uh, or sorry, 13 tokens. I think this is an absolute steal, man. This Puskas, now, although I haven't used him this year, Prime Puskas, he's worth about 3 mil coins. Uh, I think he's at least worth 2 mil. For 14 tokens, or 13 tokens at the end of this game, yet again, another end game card. Um, if we take a look here, he's got high attacking, medium defensive, so that's good for a, for a forward. Uh, his weak foot lets him down slightly, but I think this Puskas, man, uh, I've heard a lot of good reviews about him on people, you know, coming into my streams and stuff. I don't think he's a bad option. Um, so I'd say certainly for, for only 13, if you want a good night out now player you can use for the rest of the game, Puskas could be your man. Right, moving into the last page then. Moving into the last page, we have a 92 plus icon moment attacker player pick. Now this is we're we're getting into this now. If you're gonna grind right and you're gonna take, you're gonna grind to the end and you're gonna take all the tokens right. You're gonna grind at all the tokens. This is the player pick to go for because it guarantees you an attacker player icon moments and a player pick. You know, they're all, all the boxes are ticked there. So I feel he's a very, very good option um, for, for this. I think it's a very, very good option. Definitely reasonable for 15 tokens. I know it'll be, you know, all your tokens really done. Uh, you know, you'll spend them all on this. But I don't think it's a bad option. It wouldn't be my go-to. But if you if you feel, you know, end of game, you're going to get a 92 plus icon moments attacker. And it's going to be a player pick, remember. It's not a pack. It's a player pick, so you get the choice. I don't think that's a bad option at all. We've got a Rio then. For um, yeah, obviously 91 prime icon moments, real for 15. All I can say is, I mean, his prime's brilliant. I can only imagine how good his icon moments is. So if you need an end game centre back, um, definitely good option. I mean, I've got loads of good team of season centre backs, so I'll not be going for real personally. But you know, if you need if you need a good good centre back to take the, the standard team for the rest of the year, real could be your man. 93 plus icon moments player pick. Um, it's getting serious now. Yeah, are really putting the ratings up here. Um, for 16, and you're getting a 93 plus icon moments player pick. Um, the other game with all these player picks, I mean, you're, you, it's a risk. You can still get an L. I know you get three picks, but you can still get an L on any of them. Um, but you're, you know, you're talking 93 rated, man. This is getting, you know, you, 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 there's not too many Ls that are 93 rated. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know, there's only a few I can think of at the top of my head. Van Nistelrooy comes to mind. You know, he's a, 90, he's a 93 prime icon moments. But, you know, you have to think. I think with this one, you're you're, you're guaranteed, near guaranteed a banger. You've, you've got a player pick of three players, and they're all 93 plus icon moments. I think this would be a very, very good option if you're going all the way, you know what I mean? We'll have a prime Vieira. Now, this is simple for me to say here. This prime Vieira, as everyone knows... It's an end game card. It is the definition of end game. Vieira and Hullet are two end game cards. You'll not do any better. Credit to EA where it's due to be fair. They've, they've put out a big card here. P Prime Vieira for 17 tokens, I think is one of your best options. Honestly, you will not find a better CDM in the game than him. The only player in the game, the only CDM that's better in the game than him, than Vieira, Prime Vieira, is Prime Icon Moments Vieira. Honestly, and even then there's not a big difference. This Vieira card for 17, I would, I would advise if they're going, if you're going off for all tokens, this would be my go-to. In fact, I might even get this card. End game, you know, you can guarantee no matter what team of season players you pack, he'll be in your team. He is an end game center, end game CDM, and you'll not need to upgrade him. Mean, he's the best, in my opinion. He's the best in the game. So, definitely, definitely a very, very good option there. And that brings us to the end, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to smash the like, subscribe to the channel if you are new for our daily FIFA content and streams. Um, but yeah, I think we've reviewed well there. A um, lot of good options, as I say. Some end game players, um, whether you want to go for a player or not, or whether you want to go for, for a player pick. 
uh, or a pack, of course, but lots of good options. I would say credit EA that I think overall icon swaps without being too realistic because they're never going to release like mid Holla or anything like that or Oran Ronaldo. But they've given a few good cards there. Definitely th cards that were within, you know, that keep up with the game's, you know, power curve. They can definitely fit in people's teams around this, this at this stage of the game. So overall, I think, you know, credit to EA. Um, let me know in the comments as well what you guys are thinking. What options are you going to go with for your tokens? Personally, for me, I'm looking at this Vieira card. Uh, or else maybe one of these player picks if I'm feeling lucky. Um, Puskas, maybe, uh, is definitely not a bad option. Best is a good option for you boys as well. I'm not going for him because I've got the mid one, but honestly, the best is a good card as well. So loads of good options. As I say, let me know what you're getting in the, in the, in the comments down below. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like the stream, and I'll see all you boys on Wednesday for another stream. Take care. Peace.